R bending of chromosomes. R bending is actually the reverse of the gymsa. What we see during the gymsa staining in this type of the staining, which is called as R bending, we see the reverse pattern of the gymsa. In case of R bending, we see that the dark regions they are euchromatin. Now the euchromatin they are GC rich region. So in case of gymsa staining, we see the dark regions they were AT rich while in case of R banding we see that the dark regions now they are GC rich. So we say that R banding is reverse of the gymsa staining. The procedure that how this banding pattern is performed on the chromosomes when the slides they are 7 to 10 days their age is 7 to 10 days the slides are placed in phosphate buffer at 85 degree centigrade and they are incubated for 20 to 25 minutes. Then stain the slides with 0.1% solution of acridine orange in phosphate buffer for 4 to 6 minutes. Rinse the phosphate buffer and mount the slides. Examine these slides under the fluorescent microscope. So this is the procedure in case of R banding where once the age of the slides is 7 to 10 days they are placed in the phosphate buffer at 85 degree centigrade for 20 to 25 minutes. Then the slides they are stained with a chemical the name of the chemical is acridine orange in phosphate buffer for 4 to 6 minutes then the slides they are arranged with phosphate buffer and they are mounted with the same buffer. Examine once this process has been completed we can examine the slides under microscope. So R banding is the reverse of gymsa banding. Whatever we see in case of gymsa banding we see that dark bands they are AT rich in case of gymsa banding here we see that the dark bands they are GC rich. So that is the reason it is called as R banding. R banding is for reverse, reverse of the gymsa.